Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm back and today we're going to take a look at the new Team C Racing TM4 that I've purchased. This is the non-gear diff version. Uh, I've had this for, you know, a couple days now. Got all my electronics installed. Decided to take it down to the dungeon, do a couple shakedown runs with it just to get the feel for how a 10 scale four wheel drive buggy handles compared to an 8 scale and I can go ahead and tell you now there is loads of difference on how you have to jump this buggy how you have to uh, drive this buggy so let's go ahead and dive down and take a look at the TM4 from Team C Racing alright guys so I got the camera adjusted so we can take a better look at this car uh, first thing that you see is I've got a Reedy Black Box 1000Z. Uh, no, I did not do an unboxing video of this uh, particular ESC because there's numerous ones on uh, YouTube already. And just to do another one would kind of be repetitive. Uh, but I will go over a couple specs on that ESC. Uh, it is Roar approved. Uh, motor limit. It'll handle... All the way to a five and a half turn motor so a five and a half turn is the lowest turn you can go on it uh, let's see here 2s lipo uh, let's see what else um, heat sink and cooling fan installed uh, out of the box with this you can use uh, you don't have to have a separate programmer to program the different settings on this particular ESC you just press the button to get into the uh, programming menu and then you follow the uh, blinking lights and then you select which settings you want um, got this off of Tower Hobbies here so I've had a chance to run it and I actually really like this ESC so before we take the body off, we'll just start up at the front of the car, go over the outside, and then we'll dive on to the inside. Uh, up front, 12 millimeter big bore shocks. Uh, as you see, there is no sway bar installed currently on the front or the rear of the buggy. Uh, that's because this buggy handles um, phenomenal without the sway bars. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I'm running uh, 2.4 millimeter wheels instead of the standard 2.2s. Um, these are the DE Racing wheels on the front, and these are Proline 2.4 VTR wheels on the rear. At the time of this filming, uh, Raw Speed does not have a set of four wheel drive front tires available, so I'm having to run Proline Primes, which hook up. Awesome. Any slicks hook up really good at my local track. Uh, carbon fiber front and rear shock towers. Factory on this buggy. Um, has a lot of aluminum upgrades that I'll get to once I get the body off of it. This is the stock body that comes with the kit. Uh, this body was pre-painted when I purchased it. Really nice cab forward design to it. I'm looking for a, another body so I can get it painted up to match my TCO2C uh, Evo buggy. So now that I've got the body off of it, you can see the basic layout of the car. Up front, we've got the Spectrum SR210 cert, uh, receiver. Behind that, I've got, you see just a little bit of the red here. I've got that uh, highest DS4 or DT450 uh, servo motor. I'm running the Dual Sky Z5 six and a half turn motor. Reedy Black Box 1000Z installed behind the motor here. Uh, real short motor wires connecting the two. Uh, battery, this is not that Turnigy Nano like uh, what I'm running in the two-wheel drive buggy. This is actually an SMC 4300 uh, shorty pack. You can only run shorty packs in this. Uh, saddle packs will not work. 
or square packs will not work. Uh, shorty packs are the only option that you have for this buggy. Uh, I've got four millimeter bullets installed on my wires uh, for my battery. Uh, like I was saying, all that aluminum that you see behind the bumper, the center diff uh, with the center slipper assembly is got aluminum mounts uh, in the front and rear. The motor mount is aluminum. And then you have the A, B, C, and D blocks are all aluminum. They use the little square inserts to adjust the various settings, whether it be kick up in the front, uh, anti-squat in the rear, or toe in the rear. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, like I was saying earlier, carbon fiber front and rear shock towers along with carbon fiber uh, upper braces in the center. What else do we have? It has an aluminum chassis all the way through where the two-wheel drive buggy has a plastic tub style chassis. Uh, turnbuckles, fully adjustable on it. On the shock towers you have looks like three upper adjustment holes on the arms you have two front and rear uh, roll center adjustment looks to be three adjustments on the tower and it only has one position on the C hubs the knuckles only have one position for adjustment there your Ackerman plate you have two adjustment settings on the rear you have again three upper and two lower mounting positions uh, rear roll center on the tower you have three positions and on the rear hubs you have three positions um, let's see what else plastic wing mounts you know about normal for this got some velcro up here for my transponder to be installed Buggy overall, when you get the body on it, it's very nicely balanced. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not on camera. Let's see if I can find something. Where is... Here we go. We use this old cooling head for my nitro. And as you can see... The center of balance is just, it's right about where the motor mount is looking straight down onto the buggy. So I'll pull the body back off, get this stood back up here, get it readjusted how I had it. Right there. So your center of balance is, if I get this thing to set and not tip over. There. Your center of balance is just about right here on the buggy. So if I was to pick it up and put my fingers underneath it, you see that's about where the center uh the balance is on the buggy so it's really nice uh, this buggy jumps and handles very well um, haven't broken anything on this other than the stock rear wing that come on this buggy uh, just learning to drive it I took a jump a little bit too hard and tapped the brakes and when I tapped the brakes it uh, lawn darted into the dirt and it flipped over and when it did it broke the edge of the wing so i put this other wing i had on it and it's running perfect uh, shock oil i have not changed yet i've got to go through and get it uh set to what i need it to be for my local track uh diff oil is five thousand in the front seven thousand in the rear with that slipper clutch um tightened down some but it still has plenty of slip on it uh so that's about it on this guys uh, the next video will be the nitro buggy uh that'll be probably next week before i get that one done because i'm waiting on a few 
parts for the uh, buggy to come in just so I can get it race ready. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click on the like button below. Um, subscribe. And if you're not getting our notifications on when uh, the videos are uploaded and when they go live on the YouTube channel, click on the little bell next to the subscribe button in the upper right hand corner and it'll give you the option to get notifications, uh, instant notifications when we have a new video installed or uploaded. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned and we will see you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoyed it.